Welcome back to setting up 123 Sync Server. This is our step one of our three step process to set up uh, 123 Sync Server with Exchange. Here we will deal with the Exchange login parameters. We are now going to set up a login to Exchange. To set up a login to Exchange, you go to the user accounts and uh, uh, in Windows. This is also applicable uh, from what we've seen to Windows 2007 as well as uh, Exchange 2008 and Small Business Server 2008 and uh, Small Business Server 2010 as well. Um, anything that has a Windows interface will have a Manage My Network Passwords uh, interface. Select the My Network Passwords option on the User Accounts panel. And then you get a list of the servers that are available on your system. In our case, what well, it's of our interest is the 123 Sync server. So by selecting the server and selecting the properties for that server, you can see uh, the server name as well what the username is on that server and uh, if required if there's a password the password usually is not displayed on the logon information properties screen so um, if if the password is incorrect my suggestion is you do you change it but otherwise just leave it the way it is but this way by setting these passwords in here or just creating the server that you want to access which is going to be your own server that will provide the, our login into the exchange server one thing uh, that's important about the logon information properties on the server is that it provides you the username that you're logging into the exchange in many instances we've seen that although you successful log in you log in as a different user and many users don't know how to change that here you can actually uh, modify that and see that that it is correct also it um, by putting it there and then testing it is uh, you can actually discover whether it's an existing login for that exchange server in addition, this procedure is the same whether you're an Exchange server or an Exchange client or a client like a Windows client or Outlook client, you still have to do the login to the Exchange server and this is your gateway. As we're saying, this is your portal for the Exchange mailboxes. So 123Sync provides a few tools that allow you to check for consistency on the exchange connection. One of them is our login test. The login test, it validates the login par parameters to log into the exchange server. It basically uses the login information properties that you've set up on your Windows machine to, lo to log into the server. One thing we've seen is no matter what the mailbox is, as long as these login parameters are correct, it will provide you with a positive response on the login to the server. Now, here sometimes we try to log in and uh, we cannot log in. So what we do, we just remove the server from our stored usernames and passwords. We go back to the synchronizer, and we click on the test button, and then we get the connect to the 123 sync server option where we connect to that server and that will remember my password and now I can I know that I've got the right and correct password in order to log into the server now there's another option that we provide uh, which is to select the folders on the exchange which what we call the folder icon here it does two things. One of them, it validates the connection and at, attempts to access the folders. So when you click on the contacts icon, it will list you the folders that are available to you. 
Now that means it's connected to the exchange folder, use the username that you provided, the mailbox name, and it successfully accessed those folders. Now if you have the incorrect permission set on exchange, you will get an error. And the error is basically mappy on fail on provider. And that means it cannot access those mailboxes. So you have to go to the exchange server to fix that. So to conclude, what does the login to exchange do? It intrinsically allows you to access the synchronization mailbox, whether in our case here is test 10, is it establishes a linkage or a point of reference to start the synchronization. So set up the, the login. The sync mailbox is the gateway to all the other users' mailboxes. And you do the, that by manipulating the permissions on the exchange side, which we're going to see on step two. But remember that the sync mailbox, once you establish that and once those permissions are set, then you have access to the exchange and from there you can work at peace. And the login to the exchange is also applicable as well on the client installation as well as on the server's ins installations. We've seen that in a multiple variety of systems that you, you, if once you set up the login, there is no need to worry about whether you get there or not. All you have to do is deal with the permissions. So that establishes the single portal for you to start synchronization for all, all other users.